If you had to pick between dams or salmon, which would you choose? Dams provide hydropower, help control floods, and make rivers easier to navigate. But they also give salmon a hard time. Salmon have run in Northwest water since before people were here. But after people began building dams in the late 1800s, salmon numbers plummeted. Wild salmon in the Snake River in eastern Washington state face an especially tough challenge. Four dams cross the Lower Snake, generating enough carbon-free electricity to power Seattle. They also make it possible for ships and barges to reach Lewiston, hundreds of miles inland from the Pacific Ocean. For decades, wild salmon advocates have claimed the only way to bring back the Snake River salmon is to remove the dams. Many alternatives have been tried, or at least proposed. Spilling juvenile fish over dams, barging them around, building fish ladders for adults to swim past dams. There have even been a few stranger alternatives. In the 1970s, managers briefly flew fish in airplanes and dropped them into the water past the dams. More recently, a company is experimenting with what's been dubbed the salmon cannon. It's like a water slide, but for fish. But a federal judge recently concluded that removing dams may be the only solution and cleared the way for the government to study what that might mean. This wouldn't be the first dam removal project in the Northwest, but it would be the largest. So what happens when you remove a dam? First, rivers become more unpredictable. Engineers wouldn't be able to control river levels and speeds, and ships and barges wouldn't be able to make it as far inland. Second, all that carbon-free power shuts down. Unlike wind and solar, hydropower is reliable. It provides steady power, like a coal plant, but without the emissions. Steady power sources are hard to replace without using fossil fuels or nuclear energy. Third, fish come back. A few years ago, two dams on the Elwha River were removed. Today, fish counts are the highest they've been in 30 years. And it's not just fish. Animals that rely on salmon benefit as well, like orcas. Ever since dams were built, people have been trying to engineer ways for dams and salmon to coexist. Decades later, the clock is ticking, and we're still debating. Can salmon survive with dams in place? Can our economy survive without dams?